Hey guys, it is a very special day today because it is new set day. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of uploading order or which one's first or not, but at some point in the future, you are going to see me open up this right here. The Reggie Elecky V Crown Zenith Collection Box. And it says collection. But in all honesty, it's just what you would expect out of a regular V-Box, plus a Reggie Drago hollow. They've done this a couple times. They did it with Pikachu, where they just put, like, a Mimikyu hollow on the front and said collection box, but still only include four packs. Uh, so Crown Zenith released on January 23rd, 2023, uh, two days ago for me, God knows how long for you, um, is a special expansion and the final Sword and Shield set, um until Scarlet and Violet comes out in March. And I don't know anything about it. I briefly looked over the list of cards before I started this opening. And uh, it looks like a regular set with a bunch of reprints from the Sword and Shield era. Because I saw like a Cherubi that I recognized having the same attack and stats as the Battle Styles version. So I feel like all of these are kind of like alternate arts, if you would, of just like regular cards from the regular Sword and Shield sets, uh, which is, you know, pretty cool. I'm also just quickly going to pick up my camera just to get a good shot of this for the thumbnail. I know I'm kind of shaky, but hopefully somewhere in there I can use it as a thumbnail. The YouTuber life, am I right? Okay, so something cool. I just want to admire this box for a second because I actually just got it in the mail and i thought it looked really nice it's got like a really nice shiny like gold finish as you can probably see all the regilecki and stuff all the gold parts are like boarded up uh even like the regular blue part right here has kind of a funny texture on the side we have this you know usual stuff you'd expect and honestly i'm just trying to gain my excitement for the set because the other part of the set i saw is the galarian gallery and i'm not gonna lie I really have no idea how said Galarian Gallery even works. I'm going to assume it works the same as any other Sword and Shield set like Silver Tempest or Lost Origin with the Trainer Gallery subset where it's just going to come in the reverse holo and then you can get like a regular V on the back of the pack. Could be wrong, could be right, who knows, but I, I just want to get this bad boy opened up. So now we're just going to open this box, this very nicely done box. But it still has stuff inside I want, so I'm going to open it nonetheless. Uh, you're going to get, uh, once again, just like Lost Origin and Silver Tempest, this is my first time ever really seeing the set. So you're going to get kind of like my, my I'm going to take it off camera, uh, my blind uh, reaction, if you will. Sorry, I just shoved the whole foot long down my throat. Uh, so I haven't seen this set before at all. Here's the little cardboard thing. Not cardboard, plastic thing. I just took off the cardboard part. And we got plungers, thank God. Some of the recent things of opening have had like old school, um, not these. They've had like the prongs, which kind of sucks. There's the Reggie Lucky V. And here is the Reggie Drago. I'll get these guys in some sleeves. And the reason I chose Reggie Lucky over Reggie Drago uh, is two reasons. One, I like Reggie Lucky more. And B, this Reggie Drago hollow, I don't have. Uh, because regular, the one that comes in the Reggie Drago box, the Reggie Alecki V, uh, I, I do own the regular version of, so there's no point in really getting it. Here is the Reggie Drago Hollow. It is a special foil from Evolving Skies. Uh, and probably, honestly, at some point, either on or off camera, I'll open up the Reggie Drago V box anyway, because this set seems pretty cool and, like, one I want to keep opening. Uh, but who knows? So let's put the Reggie Alecki V. It is a Black Star promo. Uh, 280, it looks like. Can't believe there's already 300 promos in Sword and Shield. Uh, yeah, this is, like, one of the last Sword and Shield products to come out, really. Because, yeah, Scarlet and Violet comes out in March. That's, like, really soon. And there's Reggie Alecky V. Here is the Jumbo Reggie Alecky V. And if it wasn't for that Pikachu binder that released with the first partner packs, I would have no use for these. But something cool about these is I can actually put them in a cool binder now. So that's actually a really cool product that Pokemon's done. Here is the code card for the Reggie Alecky V crown zenith collection i have absolutely no use for these so of course you can have every single one and as i knock these guys over in the background pick them back up um for crown zenith packs let's get rid of this and let's uh 
jump right into it. So I kind of want to admire the artwork for a second. All four are the same. It is just Zacian and Zamzenta, obviously resembling Sword and Shield. And it has a nice, oh, that's cool. It has like a nice gold crown pattern on the back. And I just want to open this up. I don't know if you get like a haul in every pack. I'm assuming you don't, since most of the reprints I saw do look like they'd just be regular rares. And I also want to preserve just a regular pack of this uh, because I like to keep one of every uh, pack art to put on a little shelf over there. But maybe you'll see that one day. And uh, this one I kind of destroyed, so I'm just going to destroy it to get into it. It looks like we're starting off with Seal, uh, which I recognize being from uh, <laughs> Lost Origin because I just opened up a booster box to that not too long ago. There's your code for Crown Zenith. And we go one, two, three, energy, one and two. So I don't know, reverse, final slot, whatever. But this Crown Zenith pack starts with Seal, Potion, Aeron, Corfish, Energy Search, Lunatone, Soul Rock, Soul Rock and Lunatone, Rare Candy, oh, Reggie Gigas V Star. Oh my god. I'll show you that in a second. And uh, an Aleon Hollow. But yeah, oh my god. So it does work like the um <laughs> the the collection, the Drainer Gallery selection, and I got this awesome looking oops i turned out the light my bad it's very sensitive this awesome looking reggie gigas v star alternate art and a cool leon uh so yeah obviously the reggie gigas v is cooler uh and we'll go in the background but this leon hollow is actually really cool they did the thing where they did like the little signature part and obviously it's leon and hop you know the two two brothers going at it i do sleeve most of the hollows i get so i might as well sleeve the leon too to me, it looks like we're going to get a haul in every pack based on that luck right there. Although, you know, I could still be mistaken. So a really good start. Really good start to this opening. Uh, as we move into the second pack. This makes me really excited to open up an ETB for this set. Which I can only imagine will be on camera. If it's not, then... Uh, I'm sorry, I guess. I don't know what you want me to say. But I'm trying to preserve this one a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Did I miss any cards? Doesn't look like it. That'll be my preserved pack art. And here's the code. It's a black code, so I'm assuming, you know, I'll every pack, as I already said. We go one, two, three. Energy one and two. And this pack of Crown Zenith, maybe not as crazy, starts with Corefish, again, Energy Search, Scyther, Riolu, Young Goose, Pinkerchin, Pokemon Catcher, Bisharp, Okay, sure, yeah, Electivire Trainer Gallery subset card, and as a root hollow. <laughs> I, I love Electivire. If you didn't see the Gen 4, uh, nope, I dropped my sleeves. I only have like three left. Uh, yeah, but if you didn't see the uh, Gen 4 tier list video back in like May or whatever, uh, I really love Electivire, so that's a really awesome card to get. Do you get one in every pack? Because that would be really cool, but I feel like the set would also be really expensive. And that was my last sleeve. Um... I can't sleeve any other pulls I get from this. That's a problem. Uh, do I have a binder? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to stop filming because I have a lot of uh, unedited videos right now. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and grab my special card binder. And I'm sure I can find a couple that don't really need... Don't really desperately need any sleeves. Um, Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'll, I will grab them as I go along, because let's just get back into Crown Zenith. And let's test the theory of if you get a really good pull in every pack. I doubt it. I really do. Because, you know, it's Pokemon. They want to make money. But if that is the case, that's so awesome. So here's the next pack. There's your code. Let's do one, two, three. Energy, one and two. Our luck has to run out eventually, as this pack starts with... Let's so bump the camera. Pan... Pan Champ? Snorunt, Rockruff, Howling at the Moon, Tangela, Baltoy, Dusclops. I'm really sorry about the camera angle, because I really can't get, like, two card, two hands in here. Dusclops, Me Tang, Love Metagross, Energy Switch. Okay, you have to get a Trainer Gallery one in every set, because there's no way, and a Zamazenta Holo. Yeah, okay. Because there's no way I'm just getting this absurdly lucky. I don't believe that for, like, one second. Although, you know what? It would be really cool if it was the case. I'm, not, I'm just saying. But here is our Dawn 
bars. Bada bing, bada boom. I will show all of these at the end. And then I also have a, uh, uh, not Giratina, uh, Zamacenta. I know their names aren't similar at all, but you know what? Shut up. Here's the Zamazenta hollow. I'll show more in depth once I put it in a proper sleeve. Here is the Zamazenta hollow. I kind of skipped over at the end. And I'll put the Bulbasaur back in here. And now, our final pack of Crown Zenith with that crazy selection of pulls in the back. Uh, we're going to open up right now. Uh, I still haven't topped the Reg Gigas V-Star. That is an awesome looking car. Car. Card. Uh, but it, from the looks of it, it does look like you get a Trainer Gallery subset. You get a hollow in every pack, which is really freaking cool. Uh, and the final Crown Zenith pack. There's your code. We go one, two, three. Energy, one and a two. I felt texture, but now that I know it's in every pack, I kind of feel uh, less surprised. Hopefully it's something truly amazing. Pawniard, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron. Riolu, Pinkerton, Rick Candy, a lot of doubles in the commons and uncommons, Bisharp, whoo, Charon's Care, Full Art Trainer, and the final card is a Zacian V-Star. What is this set? Honestly, like, Jesus. Look at these bulls. What? I've never had a full line before, even in the booster box. Mainly because of how it was arranged, but still. I've never had a full freaking set line of pulls before. I love this. This is so awesome. Here's my Charon's Care. I'm gonna look up after the video if you get one in every pack or if I just got like absurdly lucky. I feel like you do because I don't think I could get, I don't think any person could feasibly get that lucky, especially when it comes to Pokemon cards. But who knows? Maybe I did. Uh, so this, uh, Eight for eight for four, however you want to do it. Uh, set of cards I just got. I put the last unsleeved card back. I need to open up another ETB. So perfect excuse to open one from Crown Zenith. We got all these cards, which I'm gonna sort out real quick. What an awesome set! I am like actively excited to open more. Uh, but we got one, two, three. Boom! Boom! boom. Kind of just moving and growing here. So we'll start with hollows. I'd say go coolest, or least cool to most cool. Would probably be that. Then we have that and that. And that and that. That and that. Okay. So from four packs of Crown Zenith in this Reggie Lucky V box, we have Zarud Hollow, Reggie Drago Hollow that came on the front of the box, Leon, a nice signature card there. And then Zamazento, which is probably the favorite of the hollows that I got. We have the Regieleki V that came on the front of the box. We have Zacian V-Star, the only regular uh, card from the set that I was able to pull. Uh, Dunsparce, Trainer Galley subset card right here. It's like a couple of them sleeping in a room. Electivire, very cool. It has Magmortar and Electivire on it. As you guys know, I love Electivire. Charon's Careful Art Trainer, a very, very cool card. And then, of course, easily the best pull of the opening, the Reggie Gigas V-Star alternate art, whatever you want to call this. But yeah, damn, I am really impressed, and I am actively really looking forward to opening an ETB at some point. Whether on screen or off screen, it doesn't matter. Still really exciting. But as for this video, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, depending on when it goes up, I'm sure I have more ready to go. So there will be a constant stream of Pokemon card opening videos for you to enjoy at your own pleasure, will, you know, watch them whenever. And if you want more, I filmed like 20 of these and I'm sure you haven't seen them all. So this is Pokemon card playlist. Uh, if you go to the playlist tabs on my channel and you just want to see some older style openings, uh, and older, I mean like sets that came out back in the summer, don't get excited. And uh, just other products that have come out that I've opened, check out the playlist. Uh, but as for right now, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Ta-ta for now.